Malika's Winter Carnival by Nadia L. Hon. My girl, look at you. You're almost as big as me. Mommy laughed. She pressed me into her flower dress with her soft belly and smell of cocoa butter beside my head. Grandma hugs us too. I don't want to let go. When I look up, I see a tall, pale man smiling at me. Malika, baby, this is Mr. Frederick. Frederick, this is my little Malika, Mommy says. Enchanté, Malika, he says with a different talk than Mommy, and his hands stretch out to me. I don't know what to do. Galant chill, shaky hand. It's the custom, Grandma say, patting my shoulder. I put my small hand up to his big hand and he shake it. I am Adele, says a girl with the same different talk as Mr. Frederick. We are going to become family, sisters soon. She kissed me on two sides of my face. I am the flower girl at Mommy and Mr. Frederick's wedding. Grandma played my hair with flower and ribbon. Smile, Malika, you fit that dress so nice, says Mrs. Chin, the tailor lady. Everyone from our district come to the church to see Mommy marry the French Canadian with his red hair little girl. Look, Adele says, pointing to Mr. Frederick, kissing Mommy. I cover my eyes. After, we go to the beach at Caddy's restaurants where sweet reggae music play. The Chinese lanterns glow and the crickets call quiet ocean waves. Mommy and Mr. Frederick look so happy. I sit by myself. Then Adele come pull me up to dance. I don't want to dance. Every day, I help Grandma bake sweet bread, fry fish and make her special coconut drops. Grandma cook this food when someone leave our district. One day, we visit the beach where I build castles and bury Adele in the sand. Then she run into the sea to wash it all off. Then we do it all over again. On the last day, Uncle Edward throw a big cookout and all of my cousins and school friends come to see us all. Even my teacher come. I cry and cry. Malika, I know this won't be easy, but I think you are going to like Canada, Mommy says as she hold me. The next day, Uncle Edward and cousin Fitzroy pack a minibus to get ready to drive all of us to the airport. But first I hug Grandma for a long time. She waved at us from the house, holding her tissue. When our airplane land, Mommy gave me a big purple coat with fur on the hood to put on. I step outside and my body feel cold all over. I see a white puff when I breathe out. Benevue à Quebec, Malika, Mr. Frederick say. You will share your room with Adele and have your own bed, Mommy say. Like sisters, Adele say. She smile at Tootie Green. The next day, I go to my new school. Mommy make me wear a long pants called long johns, two pair of wool socks, an undershirt, 
a turtleneck, a sweater, and a coat. I have two pairs of mitts on, and I have them called chook and earmuffs. The boots are a little big, but Mr. Frederick says they will last two winters. When I get there, the children speak a different way. The teachers speak a different way. No one understand me. I hate it. One day, Mommy and Mr. Frederick take Adele and me to what they call carnival. Adele pull my hand over to her snow castle made with colorful cones green and blue, red and yellow, but I don't care. This is no carnival. I don't see no costumes. This is an ugly castle. I hate it. I scream. I kick down the snow castle. I pick off the ice cones and throw them on the ground. They make a sound like breaking glass. Adele's face look like a break apart too. Next morning, mommy wake me up. There is someone who wants to see you, she say. She put the computer on my lap. Grandma, I say. Malika, is that you? She say, squinting her eye. Seeing grandma make me think about goats on the roadside and shin up and shiny black shoes at church. Think about warm breeze and roosters crowing in the morning and poinsettia flowers at Christmas tree. Think about school uniforms and roasted breadfruit with salt and all of my friends and cousins. Grandma made me feel so happy again that I reach out to hug her. But I can't. We both cry when she had to go. window. I see Adele pour red water onto the snow, then pack the snow into cups, then green water, then blue water, then yellow. I put on my coat, hat and all my things and run outside. I take a deep breath. I'm sorry Adele. She smiled then gave me a big hug. We look up at the fat snowflakes falling from the sky. Malika, Mojon, Adele say. What? I say. Let's eat, she say. She opened her mouth as, as the tiny icy crystals land on her tongue. I do the same and gobble each one. I smile, a big smile. Then I start to laugh and she do too. I laugh with my sister until my belly hurts.